John Graham, who ran for the U.S.'s first Olympic marathon squad, was inspired to establish the Boston Marathon with assistance from businessman Herbert Holton. The 24.5-mile route started at Metcalfe's Mill in Ashland, Massachusetts, and ended at Boston Irvington Street Oval. Fifteen men participated in the inaugural race, known at the time as the American Marathon. It was held on April 19, Patriots Day, a holiday celebrated in Massachusetts and Maine in honor of the start of the Revolutionary War. In 1969, Patriots Day was officially moved to the third Monday of every April, and the Boston Marathon has been on run that day ever since. Today, the Boston Marathon is considered one of the world's most prestigious road races, attracts professional and amateur runners from around the world. On April 15, 2013, 23,000 participants at the 117th annual Boston Marathon witnessed two bombs explode near the finish line of the Boston Marathon. Two young men at the ages of 19 and 26 placed bombs on the sidewalk that injured over 260 people and took the lives of four people. We were able to reconstruct it all moment by terrifying moment. The attack appears time for maximum impact. Just before 2.50 p.m., this is the viewpoint seen by many of the 26,000 marathon runners who are approaching the finish line. The first of the two explosions rocks the sidewalk along the course. White smoke blasting into the air, blowing metal barricades into the street, spewing shrapnel into crowds gathered at the finish. from multiple angles just as the race clock approaches the four hour and 10 minute mark. Marathon runner Bill Ifrit is knocked to the ground. 12 seconds later, as many flee the Something scene, just blew up at the a second explosion goes off about 130 yards from the first, less than a block away. Hold on, get out of the stands. It was very loud, it, the ground shook. You could just feel it going down through you. Emotions, more specifically feelings, play a large role in most ethical decisions. An article written by the University of Texas explained that emotions have a direct effect on people's moral choices. The Boston Marathon alone can be very emotion-filled. Accomplishing the Boston Marathon is a lifetime accomplishment for some. On April 15th, when the bombs exploded and the runners went down and spectators were severely injured, emotions spread like wildfire and everyone went into help mode. Emotions evoked by suffering, such as sympathy and empathy, often lead people to act ethically towards others. Indeed, empathy is the central moral emotion that most commonly motivates pro-social activities such as altruism, cooperation, and generosity. Immediately triage the wounded. The event's medical tent was transformed into a trauma unit. I saw one guy with his legs gone at the knees, some ankles and feet missing, shrapnel wounds on people on the sides of the head. By three Twitter was the platform that shared this story. Within six minutes, tweets sent out by the media outlets had thousands of retweets. Within nine minutes, the Boston Globe had close to 10,000. Runners like this. <laughs> caught the video of the bombing on their GoPro. This particular incident was covered almost completely by citizen journalists, and it was citizen journalists who tried to solve the mystery of the bomber. These images showcase the theories people came up with, including hashtag man on roof, a conspiracy theory created by Reddit users. The FBI took to citizen journalists and asked if anyone had any helpful evidence. In this case, the decades of technological developments have dramatically shortened the time between occurrence of a news event and the dissemination of photos or videos of it to the public.
When it comes to privacy, the Boston Marathon hits on the right to know and the need to know and the want to know. NPR did a story on the new street cameras that will be in use during the race. Since it was video that helped capture the bombers, cameras will be monitored all throughout the race. Citizens and officials have the right and need to know if they are safe. For want to know, we can look at the injured runners and the citizens that stepped up to help them. The pictures of the injured runners went viral, making those runners famous, and same goes for the heroes that helped them. They did not seek the fame they received, but the public wanted to follow their story. Using concepts of right to know, need to know, discretion and circles of intimacy will provide you with ethical tools to begin the work of balancing conflicting claims of privacy. The Boston bombing changed the way we view terrorism in this country. There are more than just three ethical topics that fit into this case. However, emotion, citizen journalism, and privacy help describe the events of that tragic day.